With the spoil board now mounted, there's just two more things that we need to do. The first is to surface or level the top of the spoil board. Sheet goods like this MDF are never a consistent thickness all the way through, so while we can't see it, this board may actually have a wavy top. This would affect the accuracy of our cuts when we attach pieces to it, as they would not sit perfectly level on an uneven spoil board. So we're going to skim a very thin layer off the top just to level it off. You'll notice at this point that we've added the ShopBot's optional plastic enclosure to contain the dust we're about to kick up. If you're curious about what this enclosure consists of and how to install it, please look for our separate video on it. For this operation, you can use the quarter inch bits that ShopBot includes with the starter bit kit, but obviously the job will go faster with a larger bit. So I'm going to use this three quarter inch dado bit that I bought from my router. It's got a half inch shank, so I'll use the larger of the two included collets. If you missed the videos on how to install a bit and zero the machine, check those videos out too. In addition to including the cutting file that allowed us to make this spoil board in the first place, ShopBot includes a spoil board surfacing file. All I have to do is plug my bit's values into it. After zeroing the bit in all three axes, we're ready to cut. But first, I'm going to scribble all over the top of the spoil board with this marker. That way, we'll be able to see, after the cutting process, if there are any low spots that we missed. Then we run the file. Now this is only shaving a fraction of an inch off of the surface. You can see here that there's a low spot, meaning the MDF was in fact not a consistent thickness. So we're going to run the file once more to make sure we get it perfectly level. Now that it's finished, we've got a perfectly even spoil board. There's just one more thing that we're going to do to it. We're going to run one more cutting file that ShopBot has included specifically for spoil boards. What it does is cut a small rabbit all the way around the spoil board, leaving an area that's precisely 18 by 24 inches. This is helpful because this visually indicates to us exactly where the bit's cutting area begins. In other words, we now know where the boundary is of where the bit can reach, and we can place our material right up to that edge if necessary.